you are watching Math Feats episode 13. I'm going to make a video for each anime this season. You're watching episode 13. Okay guys, so I just finished watching episodes 1 and 2 of Fire Force or Enen no Shobutai, which is how it's said in Japanese. Oh, and the manga is called Fire Brigade of Flames. In the world of Fire Force, there is an epidemic going on. An epidemic of spontaneous human combustion, which basically means that, you know, people will randomly explode and burst into fire. When somebody spontaneously combusts, what happens is that to them is that they become known as an infernal, and they, they barely remember their human lives and they basically go on a rampage killing lots of people and of course burning things down so basically they're just killing everybody and burning shit down they barely know their lives they're just like a vague sense of who they were but this brings us to the fire force which is a group of firefighters specialized in dealing with these infernals they're basically firefighters that wear these blue bands on them and many of them actually have the ability to manipulate fire themselves. This is because due to being second and third generation victims of the human combusting themselves, it's not exactly clear, but the first generation is obviously the people who are infernals, but the second and third generation types of infernals are basically people who have extra abilities or have like powers that are related to fire in a way. Yeah, so it's not exactly, sh it's not exactly clear, but I'm pretty sure people become second, third generation whenever they have family or maybe maybe somebody who they care about that becomes an infernal. And maybe that's where that's how somebody becomes an infernal or that's how somebody becomes a second or third generation. Maybe it's like a deaf. Maybe it's like a deaf thing. Like like Shinra's mom is living on through his devil's footprints ability. Who knows, though? Who really knows, though? So second generations are people who have the ability to manipulate fire they can control it but they cannot make fire themselves they can even change it they just can't create it by themselves this brings us to our protagonist Shinra Shinra is a third generation which basically means that he can create fire as well as manipulate it his ability devil's footprints allows him to create fire from his feet they basically work like rocket shoes meaning that he can basically propel himself really quickly he can do some fire kicks and stuff like that Shinra wants to become a hero and so he has this flying kick ability just like Kamen Rider which is another thing that's really interesting about Fire Force. Many of the characters have a dream and those basically determine what a character is like. For example, another character that you're going to meet in the second episode wants to become a knight and so naturally he only uses a sword when he fights. Anyway, so Shinra has a pretty bad reputation and people basically feared him throughout his childhood life because of his ability. And not only that, he actually has this weird thing. It's a weird condition that he has has where whenever he's getting nervous or anxious he starts to smile and it's really creepy and it's really edgy and so I can totally understand why people call him a devil but man does it make for a fascinating dynamic in which moments where you really wouldn't be smiling Shinra starts smiling and it's fucking crazy dude it's so cool mm? <laughs> He's just like a badass. For example, when he's super nervous talking to girls, like in the first episode, he's fucking smirking. And it's sick. He's just out here chilling. Anyway, basically this crew of Fire Force, they just fight the fires, you know. They put to rest all the infernals that they come across. Anyway, into the episode. I actually read the manga for this show. I just read the first five, six chapters. This episode adapts basically chapter zero and chapter one of the manga, and it, I think it does it quite well. I, I've got some gripes, but you know, overall, I've got a lot of positive things to say. So the episode starts off with Shinra on his way to go to his new job when all of a sudden there's a fire on the train and Shinra's like, shit, I'm gonna take care of this. But right before he can even do something, 
seconds, literally seconds, the fucking squad is there already. And they're like, they're like, back up. They're like, Dude, like son we got this don't worry kid and the fire looks fucking cool but basically at the beginning you basically just see them in action at first just like you're just seeing shinra like just give the power to them and they are just doing their thing he lets them shine and it's really cool to sit back and just know that your friends are badasses Side note, Shinra has these really cool crimson ish magenta eyes and i think they're fucking sick that is all so they adapt the manga quite well. I enjoy it a lot. You can tell that this show is basically about to be cool fire effects the anime, which I'm pretty sure that's what the manga basically was. But you know, way better. Like I, I gotta say, this anime adaptation really, really does add a whole lot to what the manga had. Like, you lose out on some specific, like, precise, gorgeous artworks, but you get, like, this amazing fight scene that looks so much better animated, of course. And I fucking loved it. It looked great. The fight scenes, the opening bit at the beginning, it looks... There, well, there was one thing that I was, like, annoyed by, was, like, how loud it would end up being sometimes. It... There's like these weird vorpal bass boost <laughs> ear rape songs that or sounds that are going on in the background whenever there's explosion and <laughs> And if that's a thing, that's really gonna suck for this show. Cause I think, I feel like that's just how they're going to continue going. <laughs> Is you're just gonna hear <laughs> I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a clip. so that you guys know what I'm talking about. So the OP of Fire Force is basically just like standard action scenes, but the visuals on the screen sync so perfectly with the music that it really makes this OP as if you just like you get swept up in the fun and it just looks like everyone is having so much fun and the eye candy is just so powerful it looks really great for just the like action like scenes op i really feel like you understand where everybody is in the team and what they do you get a real good grip of that of the main cast abilities and basically what they do whenever they are out as a unit and you see like the roles that everybody plays it's really cool so I said a little bit of this earlier, but this show needs to have a lot of cool fire effects because one, this, like a single fire effect is going to get old. I think there needs to be a whole lot of different styles like like inked and shit, you know, any sort of fucking style that you can get. Get some chalk in there, son. The soundtrack for this anime is quite pristine. I enjoyed it. It's basically like these cool Japanese fusion beats hip-hop sick shit that's basically like the style of soul eater but like you know i mean it's going to the next stop i really enjoyed it i was i was uh nodding my head and and jamming out to some of the the tracks in the background sometimes although sometimes characters do seem to be like there will be characters and music and the the scene will still feel quite empty like one scene that i can point out is where the captain is basically laughing <laughs> <laughs> and nobody's saying anything and it just seems like man it just feels like there's no interaction here i guess he is the captain so like they they would be quiet from respect or something but i don't know i mean it just seemed like it was a bit off it, that's not a huge gripe or anything i don't really care that much the backgrounds of fire force tend to look way better than average since the world is so nicely colorful and stylized it makes sense you know i mean everything just looks better it looks better than how they do in every other anime not to mention the art style feels really reminiscent of soul eater it feels like it's the logical next step of soul leader's art style which is funny because shut the fuck up it feels like it's the logical next step of soul leader's art style which is pretty funny because that's exactly what Fire Force is. Yup, in case you didn't know, Fire Force is a manga drawn and written by Atsushi Okubo. The same guy who is responsible for Soul Eater. Sometimes the fire looks kind of weird. There are some points where the fire just looks really buggy or glitchy. 
doesn't really look like it's to make out anything. Like, there's one scene I'm thinking of specifically, and I'll show that on screen. Also, there are a few moments where the camera just stays far off for like an extended amount of time. And it doesn't really add much to your vision of what the area really looks like. It just kind of seems like a shortcut to have audio without animating. It's it's like just these scenes where they're like in the spot where they're doing the thing but like it's just far off and you can't really you can't really tell what's going on which may seem like a nitpick but it's still something that took me out of the experience please draw the faces in there are just a couple times where uh you know from far away they're just not drawing in any faces and so nobody has faces why does anime do this fuck you you're watching episode 13 of math feats like and subscribe if somebody you know has burned alive one thing that i thought was pretty cool is that what the anime will do is they'll change the art style in at certain scenes whenever sheen was having a fa a flashback to basically this different art style is to symbolize shinra's thoughts and his inner psyche how he feels like anything that has happened that is not something that you can visualize or that they would visualize <laughs> It's always some cool art art style that is really imaginative and I enjoy it. Now I would say that the first episode delivers, but I also think that it's focusing more on normie appeal than it is on trying to show us something that we haven't seen before. Citation, see the bass boom explosion effects, which are unreasonably loud and are just awkward. I just hate, I just hate that fucking sound. It's so terrible. The ED of Fire Force is really interesting. It's out here giving me Kekai Sensen vibes because it's a fucking jam and it's super upbeat and lifting while it's literally juxtaposing a sad, and extremely depressing backstory of Iris's life as a nun and then the burning of all her nun sisters it's fucking crazy like it's it's a fucking great song and it's an, a wonderful performance by unboard and it just it works so well but fuck man that middle part the intermission part where you make me Iris evades the grab of fire and her necklace falls and the chorus starts immediately it just feels amazing as she's fucking running i'm like fucking jamming out because like it's just so cool and it feels so good to listen to it now that is what you call expert cinematography you feel like you were on fucking cocaine it's so fucking insane and then at the end of it you're seeing iris like finally finding solace in the people that she's met at the fire force now and so she's run to the fire force and so i haven't gotten to this part in the manga i don't know if it's in the manga it probably is if they're doing this maybe this means that they're cutting it from the manga or they're cutting it from the anime adaptation but this is a very powerful very powerful od ed and it's od okay what a fucking jam god i love you go watch that ed if anything else motherfucker just like in the OP, the main appeal of this show is seeing how the Fire Force uses their cool as fuck powers to come out on top of every mission. I think it's all about what it's like to be a part of a squad and how to function as a team. And it's because it's fucking cool. Like in the first chapter of the manga or the first episode, in the first minute of finding out there was a train fire, the squad, squad eight arrives in fucking seconds. And they're already taking care of the situation. They're already on it. It's almost wish fulfillment of never having to worry about anything because your friends are godlike and know what the fuck they're doing. It's really satisfying. Yet another Kekai Sensen vibe. Math feats forever.
All right, guys, that's all I've got to say about Fire Force. Thank you for watching. Comment if you've ever been burned. This is a side note, but when I was a kid, I, I was cleaning the stove. It was a gas stove, of course. And I was just cleaning the stove and I thought, hey, yeah, you know, alcohol cleans things. And so while the fire's going, I thought I would pour some of the alcohol onto it. And so I poured some of the alcohol onto the fire and the fire just traveled up the alcohol and caught my hand on fucking fire and then i was literally just on my hand was just on fire it was terrible and i ran throughout the house and then i was just like whenever it was already out i was just like on the floor just tapping my hand <laughs> and slapping it tough times man anyway guys this has been math Feats episode 13 thank you for watching i'll see you next time